Hi guys, this is Gary and welcome to Brave Cross and now I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna do today I'll be discussing top five heroes in Brave Cross who have fated gear. So let's start the video. Number five Ebon Wolf Ebon Wolf, the original character in the Brave Cross series. You know why? Because of his wolf. After going near death, he transform his wolf turns into armor and gains a OE control of da controlling damage. And his skill is lonely howling. Werewolf deals 183 damage, attack damage to three targets in enemy rear, stunning them for 4.5 seconds. Number 4 Kiri Knight, the Phantom Swordmaster. I have this hero in the first day that I play this game. He is a vanguard hero. And he uses two extra swords as phantom swords. And his skill is phantom sword Kirin. Fire a row of phantom swords forward, dealing 4% attack damage to all enemies and reducing their defense by 10% for 4 seconds. Which is kind of cool. I really how, I love it how they like, uh, like enlarge the... Helmet hair? It's badass. Actually, I need like fix, fix my voice in the camera. Number 3. XMK3. The, le the second brother of the Garden Bros. He kind of looks like a uh, gun... Mobile Suit Gundam character, but what anime is this? Sorry, just ignore that. Motherfucker. Okay, so Awakening deals massive damage to a single target, Dam which increases width bow duration. And somehow his special is Spear Exorcism, lock on to the closest enemy and launch homing missiles, dealing 530d damage that stuns until the skill sequence is complete and cannot be targeted by enemy. Which is kinda nice. He looks like a mobile suit Gundam character. Is, is he? I don't know. Number 3. Dynast. The best hero I ever gotten. He is easy to get. And hard to find. Rear damage dealer who possesses devastating single target like etholy. Gain buff as wizard in Astra. And look at the majestic hair. Look how he's like closing his eyes and doesn't give a fuck. He's like, I don't give a a fuck about anything. Now leave me alone. I'm trying to meditate while I shock your ass off with my sword. And his awesome skill is Sword of Secrets. An Im immense shockwave slash from, from the sword that deals 141 damage. So he's like a rear DPS hero. Number two. So, raise your hand if you feel angry. Nah, I'm just kidding. Have you ever been angry, angry before? Well, I have. So, say hello to the raging invincible general, Imperion. Balanced in both offense and defense, the strongest of the lands. And when he, when you tap on his portrait... Peerless War still happens. Struck by Battle Lust, restoring 20% of maximum health points, greatly increased attack speed, and somehow he kind of looks pissed off. And number one. 
Who doesn't like dragons? No one, because they're awesome, like Dragoon. Ex excellently balanced. Mad AoE awakening and goes into burst mode near death. So he turns into Super Saiyan. And this is his amazing skill, Hepta Weave. I don't know how you pronounce it, but I might search it up on Google. Move swift. If only among enemies, increasing critical rate by 30%, granting immunity to all damage and dealing 282% attack damage to all enemies. Which is kind of badass. And there you have it, folks. Those are my top 5 heroes in Brave Cross who have fate gear. And also, leave your, your. Let me know in the comments below what's your favorite hero gear. And. I might do another Brave Cross video. This is my first top number for my Brave Cross video. So tell me in the comments below what's your favorite hero in the game. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. It, and I'm so and I apologize for the noises because I don't want my parents or other noise is messed up everything. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video.